In the following example, we are asked to find the cofactor A12 of a matrix. So here's the matrix A in the given problem, and we are asked to find the cofactor. So what is the cofactor? Well, in order to understand what the cofactor is, you first need to understand what the minor is. So the minor M12, which is what we're going to look at, tells us that we need to actually delete the uh, first row and the second column of the matrix. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that with this yellow highlighter here. Okay. And then what you do there is you find basically the mini determinant, if you will, of the elements that are left. So namely the 2, the 6, the 1, and the 1. Okay. So it's not terribly difficult. The only added thing here that we do to find the cofactor is we will take negative 1 to the power of i plus j. And in this case, i and j are 1 and 2. So let's go ahead and look at that for a second. This will be negative 1. And let me switch color here real quick. So this will be negative 1 to the i plus j, which is 1 plus 2 and then times the minor m12. Okay? So we know then this is going to be negative 1 to the third power, which is negative 1 times the minor m12. So all we got to do is find the minor now. So let's just find the minor. 2 times 6, which is 12. So we have 2 times 6 minus 1 times 1. So that's 12 minus 1, which is 11. So we bring that back up here, and we get negative 1 times 11, which is negative 11. So this right here, this negative 11, is the cofactor of all of this. So the cofactor of A12 which is what we were asked for in the beginning, is simply negative 11. So this is what they were looking for, and there's our answer. So not terribly difficult. Now what do we use this for? Well, we use cofactor expansion um, to find the determinant of larger matrices, so like a 3 by 3 matrix, for example. So we would do a cofactor expansion along, you know, three of the columns, and... Um, We'd use the pattern of the cofactor sign chart. In other words, you don't necessarily have to use this I plus J method because if you look at it, we know that this is the intersection right here. And if you look at this negative symbol, that means you're going to take the opposite sign of whatever you get for the minor. So if the minor in this case was 11, opposite sign of that is going to be negative 11. And so this cofactor chart is actually really quite helpful uh, to do um, cofactor expansion. So good luck in finding a determinants now that you know how to do the minor and cofactor expansion.